Welcome back to Infigyan, my dear friends. In this video, I am going to consider one very interesting and challenging and simple question from radical equations. The given equation is 3x minus 5 equal to square root 9 minus 8 minus 3x whole cube. We have to find out real values of x, real solutions. So let's get started by writing domain of the equation first. Radicant or you can see the radical square root is involved. So square root will give our positive result. So I will write left hand side must be positive. Second point, 8 minus 3x whole cube, this value only, it should be less than 9. Two conditions are there which we will solve for the domain of the equation. So let me write number 1. 3x minus 5, it should be positive. So I can conclude 3x should be greater than 5 or x should be greater than 5 over 3, which is approximately 1.67. Okay, now condition number 2. A square root, the radicand term cannot be negative. If it is negative, then complex solution will come. That is why 8 minus 3x cube. 8 minus 3x whole cube, it should be less than 9. Take cube root both sides. So I will write 8 minus 3x, it should be less than cube root of 9. If I will take minus 3x to the right and cube root 3 to the left, so I can write 8 minus cube root 9, it should be less than 3x. Now divide with 3. So I will write 8 minus cube root 9 divided by 3. It should be less than x or x is greater than this much. Now check the value of cube root 9. It is approximately 2.08, slightly more than 2. So if I will put slightly more than 2, so it would be numerator would be slightly less than 6 divided by 2. So, approx value I have calculated, it is coming out 1.97. So, this condition becomes x greater than 1.97, approx value. Now, we have to consider these two intersections. So, conclusion is x must be greater than 1.97. And you can check x is equal to 0 is not solution of this. So, equality is not there. Now I will solve this equation. Consider squaring both sides. So I will write squaring both sides. So it will give us 3x minus 5 whole square equal to square root will be over. So 9 minus 8 minus 3x whole cube. Done. Now I will consider minus common from this bracket. Once I will take minus common from the bracket, See, it is power odd. So, I will write this one. 9 plus 3x minus 8 whole cube. And left hand side is as it is 3x minus 5 whole square. Now, you can understand what I am going to consider. In brackets, it is 3x minus 5, 3x minus 8. So, I will give substitution. Let us consider 3x minus 8. 8 equal to suppose a. So let me write here let 3x minus 8 equal to a. So what would be this bracket? 3x minus 5. So what I will do? Add 3 to both sides. So I will write a plus 3. Let us put the value, both values in the equation. So I will write a plus 3 whole square equal to 9 plus a cube. Done. Now I will consider 9 to the left. So I can write, let me write cube term to the left and what I will write a plus 3 whole square minus 9. Now you can write or you can see this 9 as 3 square. So a plus 3 whole square minus 3 square. This is our a cube. Now difference of 
two squares is clearly visible. Let me write this equation here. A cube equal to A plus 3 whole square minus 3 square. Now we know that A square minus B square, it is equal to A plus B times A minus B. Let's apply A plus B. So I will write A plus 3 plus 3 in one bracket. A minus B, A plus 3 minus 3. So from right hand side, it is coming out A plus 6 times A. Left hand side is A cube. Take all the term to LHS. So I will write A cube minus A times A plus 6 equal to 0. Consider A common as it is common. So A square minus A minus 6 equal to 0. Now I will use because of this is quadratic equation, we will use quadratic formula. So f dot g equal to 0. First point I can write either a equal to 0. What was our a substitution? It was 3x minus 8. Let me write here 3x minus 8. So once I will write 3x minus 8 equal to 0, 3x will be 8. So x, the first solution of this radical equation, it would be 8 over 3. Now you can see it is more than 2. So answer is valid also. Now come to this quadratic equation. a square minus a minus 6, this should be equal to 0. Let me apply quadratic formula, Sridharachar formula, minus b. So minus of minus 1, that is 1 plus minus under the root b square so minus 1 is square 1 minus 4 ac so plus 24 divided by 2a so 2 in next step i can write 1 plus minus root 25 let me write 5 directly over 2 so i can write it is 1 plus 5 so 6 over 2 1 minus 5 so minus 4 over 2 so it is coming out 3 and minus 2. A value is 3 and minus 2. Let me consider here. 3 and minus 2. Now, what was the our substitution A? So let me write in place of A, we will write it was 3x minus 8. Let us put over here 3x minus 8 equal to 3 and minus 2 add 8 to this equation or result add 8 so i will write 3x is equal to 8 plus 3 11 8 minus 2 so 6 divide this result or this equation with 3 so i will write x is equal to 11 over 3 6 over 3 so our answer becomes 11 over 3 which is more than 3 valid solution and 2. This is also more than 1.97 valid solution. If you want to check or verify your result, what is our overall result? Let me write here. It is 2, 11 by 3 and the very first solution it was 8 over 3. So the complete solution set, all 3 are real and it is valid also as all numbers are greater than 1.97. If you want to verify, you can simply put over there. You will get to know which solution is not accepted. So every solution is accepted. I have checked. I hope this video will be meaningful to you. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Bye-bye till next video. Good luck and take care.